Hey guys, Sandy here, and I have my Kill a Kit kit here. Still, still a lot of stuff in here to use today for this scrapbook layout. Now, this is the carryout menu of my absolute favorite place to get pit beef uh, back home in Maryland, and I am going to scrapbook this because it goes along with the story. I wouldn't just randomly scrapbook a menu. <laughs> well, maybe I would. So, along the lines of the sticker sneeze, sneeze, which I did, I'm going to do a die cut sneeze. So, I have all of these die cuts, a tremendous amount. I'm going to treat this as I'm creating a paper and then scrapbook this. So, let's see what I can do. So, the first thing I'm going to do is just give a couple little of marks where my memorabilia is going to lay on the page. And then I'm going to go through and dig through all of these die cuts and I'll even pull out some stickers and I'm just going to fill this entire background paper with these die cuts. Now when I first started this I was debating on whether or not I was going to use a white background or a sheet of solid color cardstock background or if I was going to use something that was a really small repeating pattern that read like a solid and I just decided to go with the white cardstock and I think it, it turned out okay and as you can see I have really no rhyme or reason of how I'm doing this I'm just kind of like fitting things in and putting them where I think it's going to look good and I do have a very patriotic red, white, and blue going on up here in, in the upper right-hand corner. That is going to change, uh, not because I'm not feeling the red, white, and blue patriotism, because I definitely do, uh, but just with the colors and making sure I had colors throughout the page, it's just going to change. So I'm definitely using bright colors. I'm also pulling in some gray. There's bits of white as well. And I'm just going through and whatever tickles my fancy is what I'm going to go ahead and grab and put on here. And I'm just making decisions as I go. So that kind of blue word sticker thing I didn't put up there near the triangles even though I liked it up there and it looked good up there just because there was an awful lot of that dark blue right there and I don't I'm not really going for any kind of design uh, element type thing or where I'm like trying to have even bits of color or like putting it in triangles or thirds or anything like that I'm not putting the colors anywhere in particular other than to make sure that I don't have too much globbed up next to each other because I don't want to have a whole, whole lot of one color just in one space. I want it to be kind of even and throughout the whole, the whole page. And I decided to go wild and add a big floral there. I was thinking this was going to be a very geometric uh, designed background even if you can call it design I mean basically I'm taking die cuts and stickers and plunking them down on a page I don't, I don't know really if this is really designed do you know what I mean <laughs> but I'm definitely enjoying it I'm totally enjoying using a bunch of these things uh, up right now and I'm creating this little bit over here because I know I have this long awkward narrow bit that's going to be on the left hand side and if I would have thought about it, to be completely honest, I wouldn't have created such a skinny side over here. But by the time I realized how skinny it was going to be and how it was going to create that awkward space, it was too late. I had too many pieces down and I wasn't going to rearrange them. So what I decided to do was kind of layer up those little tab thingies and just kind of hopefully it doesn't look that awkward hopefully <laughs> you let me know let me know if it's if it looks that awkward um i mean this this layout is definitely not everyone's cup of tea and this kind of layout is not something i would do all the time this is definitely not going to go to one of my 
like my go-to layouts. We all have those those go-to layouts that we that we do. Um, I particularly like the L, <laughs> and this I mean this is not one of them. This is going to be one of those layouts where every once in a while I'll have some fun, throw a whole bunch of product down on the page, and just make this happen because this this was a lot of fun, guys. Um, I really enjoyed it. In there, I added some chipboard, not not a whole like lot. And this is where I decided to bring in some stickers. And I'm just bringing in these stickers to fill in. Oh, excuse me, fill in. I got I got a solid eight hours of sleep last night, and I am still yawning. What is up with that? Okay, I'm bringing in these little stickers, like I keep trying to say, just to fill in the little teeny spaces. Not that there is a whole lot of white space and not that I'm not okay with having white space on this layout but I feel like I have a good mix of sizes of this kind of stuff like some are bigger some are smaller and I want some even smaller ones and I decided since I've already added this big yellow flower and it's basically the only flower I have on here I'm going to grab some of these clear stickers and Look at this, guys. I found a way to use some clear stickers without having to back them. I'm pretty stoked because you know how I feel about the clear stickers. Um, so, yeah. Now I'm just rearranging some things, little bits and pieces that I thought went great. And then I found another sticker I like there even better. And... I could have done that for hours and hours. I could have just removed stickers and put stickers on and moved die cuts and, and switched them all around forever. And I just decided, no. If there was one thing or two things that I felt, oh, I could move this and it would look better over here, then I did it. And I already have the chipboard over here, but I wanted to add a little bit of texture, just a little bit more because this is an awful, awful lot of paper going on. So I decided to bring in these cork arrows, and they are really old. They're from Studio Calico. And then I decided also to bring in these kind of, these enamely type sticker arrows, and these are from Heidi Swap. And I'm just trying to find a good spot to put them. Like, I'm, I'm not exactly sure where they should go. I do know that I want that shiny, smooth texture on here. Like, I want to add a little bit more. So... I am doing that. I'm sitting here at the computer and for some reason something called support assist keeps popping up. So if you hear me clicking about, that's why. Need to uh, see what that is all about. Okay, well now we're down to this. So I finished that and then I realized that there were some things that needed to move around just a little bit because of the way my menu fits on the page. And I the only thing I did was put this um, menu on some black cardstock and my ATG gives me a fit and I don't realize it but it is kind of wrapping around itself and it makes a whole big mess. I think I cut that out already though because I didn't want you guys to have to watch me mess around with my ATG gun. Now I did go ahead and wrap this layout up. So there it is guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if this is something you would try to do. Oh, <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. I needed to add a little bit more texture. So I have these very old, like, Heidi Grace Designs uh, rain drop things. Uh, they're, they're old. They're super old. They're kind of like a translucent blue. So anyway, there it is. But let me know if this is something that you do on a regular basis. Do you, do you plop down a lot of uh, ephemera and die cuts and stickers and things like that to make your own backgrounds? Or is this something that you will never, ever do because you think it's hideous? Or maybe it's something where you're like me, where like every once in a while this is different and I just like it every once in a while. Because, you know, it is. It's different. It is different. And it is definitely not one of my favorite layouts ever. But it is one that I enjoy. I enjoy the process of it. I enjoy looking at it. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of stuff to look at. 
and it's just it's just fun guys it's just fun so I believe now I am finished with this layout okay just kidding one more time boy I just kept adding more and more to this one didn't I so I'm using some tonic spectrum not tonic I'm using some Spectra Noir uh, shimmer pen here just to give this one die cut a little bit of shimmer and shine. I like the little bit of sparkle that it gives. And I believe that is the only die cut that I do it for. And I'm just adding a little bit more glue there. And I'm looking at this and I'm thinking it needs something else. I'm thinking it needs some sort of other texture or something on here. So I dig deep into my stash, guys. I mean deep. Look at these things. These are fascinators. And you can tell how old they are. Because see that clearance sticker? That is an old Target clearance sticker. And as you guys know, Target hasn't had those clearance stickers for a while. So these have been in my little storage compartment for a while. I used to use these suckers all the time on pages. I never had the actual fascinator stapler. But I've always just kind of poked the staples down and used a pokey tool and then just pushed the staple tines through and bent them over. And that's because back in those days, I was kind of reluctant to buy tools. I don't know why. I just was. Just stupidity, um, being a little naive, who knows what it was. But anyway, I decided to go with the silver ones and I'm just going to go ahead and place them around the page in just some random spots. Not really, there's not really any rhyme or reason other than I like the way they look. So I'm just figuring out where they want to go and then I take my push pad and you'll be able to see I'll push down the staple just a little bit and then I poke the four holes with my uh, pokey tool. And then I just wrap that up. And now, now finally, the layout is done. <laughs>